Secret fans, don't forget to vote for Talk That by clicking on the link here. Last up on our list is Crayon Pop with Dancing Queen, which came out on November 18th, got roughly 30,000 views, and is in fourth place on our K-pop charts. <laughs> For starters, I can tell that you're using Final Cut to edit your videos. We have the exact same title thing. Check it out here. It's the title thing. You know that you're a video nerd when you pay more attention to the editing of the video rather than the actual video itself. More importantly, I want to talk about this video even though it doesn't really have a lot of views because Crayon Pop tweeted for people to vote for it on the K-pop charts. And they also wrote about it on their Tumblr as well. And I think that's pretty cool. I mean, we made these K-pop charts for you guys, the nasty, so you can have a bigger hand in the selection of our Music Mondays. And so, for us to see that K-pop companies are starting to get interested in our stuff, the way Boyfriend was with Janus, it's pretty awesome in my opinion. My vision, six months from now, I want to see G-Dragon and Xia have a tweet showdown demanding that everyone vote for their video on the K-pop charts, and so the massive traffic influx would cripple our site, set fire to our servers, which would then cause a hole in the fabric of the internet, and then Armageddon would start. All thanks to the K-pop charts. All thanks to you guys. You, you're the beginning of the end of civilization. If you haven't seen the beginning of the end of the world, check out Crayon Pop's Dancing Queen coming up next. <laughs>